What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry Snow and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at MailChimp surveys. Stay tuned. It's coming up next. MailChimp surveys are separate from the MailChimp surveys and polls, the merge tags that you put into campaigns. MailChimp surveys stand alone by themselves and they are shareable out on social media, in campaigns, and landing pages. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is go to your audience tab and go down here to surveys. So to create a survey, you click on create a survey, uh, but I've got one started already, so let's take a look at that. So I'll click on the link and then click on edit survey. So I've got some questions here and you can see they're, they're somewhat of a variety and I wanted to show you some of the things you can do. So you can ask a, a rating scale, you can ask check boxes, you can ask radio buttons, you can put in an email address and that's pretty important. We'll come back to that one in a second. So to add a question to your survey, you, you click either at the top when you're just starting or since I've got some questions already in, I click on add a question. It's going to ask you what type of question you want. So again, you can do radio buttons, check boxes. You can do that range score, or you could do an open text, which is let me know what you think uh, comments wise. One of the things that MailChimp introduced is auto tagging into the surveys. So what I want to do is I want to put in a radio button that says, what, what is your skill level when it comes to MailChimp? So let me scroll up a little bit. So the question is, what is your skill level with MailChimp or maybe with understanding MailChimp. So option one would be novice slash beginner and to add an option you click the plus. Option two would be intermediate and option three would be advanced. So let's take a look over on the right hand side here we have answer type and again you can change it on the fly right here if you wanted to. You can make it required, which is what we will do. You can toggle an other option. So for this, we want to look at auto tagging. So we want to switch that on. And then we're going to click on manage tagging and we can create tags for each of these answers. Now, why is this important? Well, I want to get a better sense from my audience or maybe from our external audience, what, uh, what is their skill level with MailChimp? And how I would use this is, well, I'm going to segment out people who are more novice and send them more basic type of things on MailChimp. How do I create campaigns? How do I do simple automations? Something like that versus intermediate or advanced. So that's how the tagging comes into play and something that I would recommend. Now, I wouldn't add tags to every question so make sure you're being precise on what type of tagging you want to do. Make sure it's these type of questions that they're answering so that you can easily segment out to further either market or communicate or give knowledge to your customers, clients, or people in your audience. So we can create a novice. I already have that one in there. I can go in and create intermediate. Click create and down here and do advanced and click create. All right, so we've got novice, intermediate, advanced, and click save. So I've got that tagging set up for that particular question. It is required. Now let's go up to this email question that I have in here. Please enter your email address to be entered in the survey giveaway. Now I don't necessarily need to put that in there, but it's something that I want people to be interested in to give me their email, email address because I want to further market to them or sell to them through, through my products. So I want to ask this question. Now I do not want to make it required. Uh, I think that would be forcing them to entering their email for the survey but I'm making a little fun here because I'm saying it's going to be giveaway. I'm not saying what the giveaway is. Maybe I should, but I just want to give you this as an example. Okay, so I'm not going to add it required. I do want to say ask to subscribe. What the subscribe thing is, is that then that will allow you to further market to them. So that is important. So just because they enter their email address for the giveaway, they necessarily do not want to be added to your 
email list. So make sure you click off ask to subscribe. Okay? So you could say, please subscribe to the SMS newsletter. All right. So we are done with our questions. So from here, what you can do is you can click on preview. And I'll show you what I've done here with the design wise. Maybe the green is a little bit much, but I wanted you to get the idea. So this is what your survey is going to look like when you send it out to your, to your audience or you send it out on social media. So we'll click on back to questions. So we can either finish later preview or continue to design. So this is where I added in some of the branding elements. So you can do a, a logo at the top here or any other type of image you want. I just decided to use my logo. You can include the MailChimp badge. Some of you, because this is a uh, this is a paid account, you might not have this option. And the custom messaging, you can customize the description. So you can add a description at the very top below the logo. I did not do that. You can have a change the button label, which I did change it before it said submit. I changed it to submit survey. Then I also put in a custom confirmation message. Thank you for taking the survey. Please visit the SMS blog. I have a link in here to my website after they take the survey, which I think is a pretty good idea. I did not customize the survey message when it's closed or the required response message. Under styles, we have a background color, which is that ugly green, and the button color and button text, okay? Then we can click on review. So we have a survey title. If you do not enter a survey title, you can enter one here. Basically, that's just letting you know what it is on your end. Then we can also select the audience. Now, if you have more than one audience, you want to do that here because that's important when it gets to reporting and tagging. You want to make sure you're selecting the appropriate audience if you have more than one. You also have the option of adding uh, survey feedback with inbox. If you're not familiar with the MailChimp inbox, there's a video up here that you can go check out and get learn more about that. And you can also opt in for daily summary. I've got both of those off. We'll click on continue. All right, so MailChimp says you're almost done. Now you can share your survey, MailChimp survey, to start collecting results. That's a mouthful. And again, you can go back to edit your survey anytime. You can view the preview page. So you have a few choices here in order to send out your MailChimp survey. You can share it in a campaign or automation. You can share it anywhere by creating links and send a website, text, chat, just send out the link. You can share on Facebook and you can share on Twitter. So those are your four options. If you scroll down a little bit, you can uh, turn the survey on or off. Again, if you turn it off, it'll say that the survey is closed to the people who click the link. And you can also edit the survey again. Below that, you get results and responses. So what we want to do in this demo is we want to share it in a campaign or automation. So we'll click on that link. They're going to give us our URL and it says it's already copied. So from here, what we want to do is send out a quick campaign. So we'll go over to our campaign tab and we have all of our campaigns. We're going to click on create a campaign and we're going to do an email regular email. We'll call this MailChimp survey. Click begin. I'm going to edit the recipient so it's only sent to me. We will personalize it if we need to. Go down to the tag. Tag. And we'll say first name. Click save. So it's only going to me. From name, subject name. We would so appreciate your feedback. There we go. We value your input would be the preview. Click on save. Design the email. It's going to be pretty basic because this is just a demo. Go down here to the basic. Edit out this. Okay, so I've done a really basic edit on the text. We'd really appreciate your feedback. Please take a moment to complete the survey. And then we're just going to edit the button or you could just put in a link uh, and have the link say take the survey. But I like the buttons. So we say click here to take the survey. So for the web address, we're going to put in our copied survey link like that and click on save and close. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on continue sending to me. All looks good. 
and we'll just send that now. So here is our email that we just sent to myself. We'd really appreciate your feedback. Please take a moment to leave the survey. We're gonna to click to take the survey. I'm gonna do an incognito window. Okay, so let's just do the, fill this out. How did you hear about MailChimp? I'm gonna say recommended to me. This is more than one, so we could do Google search. And if we did other, we could just do direct, something like that. I'm satisfied with the tools and options that MailChimp provides. I strongly agree. Uh, I can enter my email address, okay? And also check on that, please subscribe to the SMS newsletter. And what is your skill level with the understanding of MailChimp? Remember, this is our tagging component. So we're gonna say advanced and click on submit survey. Here's our thank you message with our link to the SMS blog. So we can click on that if we wanted to. But for now, let's go take a look at the report. So we're back into campaigns. We scroll down here to click on surveys. Here's our MailChimp survey. We can click on view report. And here is what I filled out right here. It says MailChimp survey. That's the, our, the name of our survey has collected one response. And we can see it line by line, each question answered. And if we scroll down to our tagging setup, which is our question five, if we click on the answer here, It'll say Lawrence Snow has responded. And if I mouse over Lawrence Snow, you now see that I have the advanced tag added to my name. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this has given you some insight on how MailChimp surveys work. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll get to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.